Hey friends, welcome back to the Chrome Music Lab. And I'm really excited to explore it with you today. When you get to the Chrome Music Lab page today, we're gonna to be not exploring Kandinsky, who we'll see down here. We're gonna be heading over to the Song Maker. So let's check it out. Ooh, all these colors, that looks exciting. Here, we can build these colors into making a really neat song and then use the circles at the bottom for other patterns like beats. Our goal is going to be to build a melody from a song we know and then add an ostinato, which is a repeating pattern, and an unpitched percussion part, which means using the circles at the bottom to build something with the drums. Finally, perhaps we can even build a drone. And we know a drone is something steady on the bass xylophone in our classroom. So maybe we can make something kind of sound like that in SongMaker. So what about the song, Who Has Seen the Wind? If we take a look down here, it's kind of like a keyboard. This is C. Oh, I just heard it on my marimba. D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again. What if we could think of the song Who Has Seen the Wind? What letter does it start on? You're right, it starts on E. In fact, there's two of them in a row. Who has seen the wind? Okay, it's not F that comes next, it's G. Oh, no, not A again. Who has seen the wind? And it's kind of a long note, so it goes, wind. And I could choose to make them all, or I could just do just the first one and then have some rests. So I think I'm gonna try that. Who has seen the wind resting? Neither you nor I, but when leaves bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Look at that. I have my song. And you'll notice it kind of also matches the color changing between white and a, like a light bluish color and then a white and a light blue to fit my patterns. And that works perfectly. So that means I need my drone and my ostinato to also match those patterns. If I did an ostinato that was really short, it wouldn't line up with the song. So I need to make sure it matches those same spacings. Let's take a listen and see if it sounds right. Oh, and it automatically repeats. Here I have my tempo. I can change the tempo while the song is playing. I can also change the instrumentation. So let's take a listen. For now, I like to remember it sounds like a xylophone in class, and you can change it for sure when you start exploring. Next, I need a drone. Hmm. I could just kind of keep this E going the whole time. E, 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 already there, E. What do you think? Let's take a listen. Nice, okay, that works. Let's see, an ostinato, and I have all this space above it, so I can do my ostinato up there. So I have E's, G's, A's, and B's. This is where the C starts over again, so I need to think about what are the same kind of notes that I would like to use. E's, G's, A's, and B's are in the song. That's part of G pentatonic. So the G pentatonic notes are G, A, B, D, and E. So I'm not using C's and F's in G pentatonic. So I probably shouldn't use C's and F's here either. And kind of think about that. Maybe if I use the E up here. E, E, D, E. That's my little awesome motto. Let's try that for now. E, E, D, E. And maybe a G there. Because then it lasts the entire length of that white space. 
so then I can repeat the pattern starting here where the new set starts. E, E, D, E, G, E, E, D, E, G, E, E, D, E. Maybe just end that there because the song kind of ends too. So now I have an ostinato and a drone and my melody. Let's take a listen. Okay, I'm loving this. Next, last step, unpitched percussion part using the circles down here. You'll notice they make two different sounds, the bottom one and the top one. Okay, okay. Do, do, do. Notice the same idea. The pattern fits up that entire space of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it repeats again after those eight little squares or four kind of larger sets to it. So that's important to do here as well. I don't want to start changing my pattern, but I'm going to make a little change there. The reason is it's kind of like the end. So I, I kind of made a little change to make it match the ending, I think, a little bit better. Let's take a listen, see what we think. You know, there's a space here that there's nothing. So I kind of think I might actually put that there, here and here and here, and that one there already is there. I might like that more because that space was kind of empty. And I might change it to blocks. Let's hear what it's talking Blocks. Yes. Love it. Okay. Next, I can save it, and it gives me a link. I can then copy the link and put it into Seesaw if that's how I want to share the lesson, because you're going to be making it and sharing it in your Seesaw activity. You can also choose to screen record yourself. We know how to do that because we did that with one of our last activities. If you want to screen record playing it with the audio, so you can kind of follow along like this as well. But you can also choose to save and copy the link. You can also save and copy the link and make a, like a long list of links if, let's say, you want to explore the song another way. And that's also really helpful. The one thing I think you could consider is whether you want to put the song down here in the lower octave, E, E, G, A, B, or you can put the song up here, E, E, G, A, B. Notice it fits in either the lower octave or the higher octave. So you have that choice to make. And they both, kind of, they both kind of sound kind of neat in their own way. One could be higher within the drone and the ostinato below, or mine had the melody kind of in the middle, and then the ostinato was above it in the pitch. So that's something interesting to think about. Take a little listen to just what the beginning part sounds like. Pretty cool song. So I took my song, Who Has Seen the Wind? I have my melody, my ostinato, my drone, and my unpitched percussion, four parts total. What if you can make four parts? The only thing that stays the same is the song, Who Has Seen the Wind? The melody is the same. You have a lot of other choices to make. Explore, save, share, and I look forward to seeing what you make. Thanks, friends.